So we wanted to show you today how to clear a pressure switch. A lot of the times when your submersible pump or your booster pump fails to start, that is, it's just the pressure switch that has some ants in it. So it's, I like to tell every customer who owns a well or a well and a booster pump, if you have a pressure switch, you need to know how to clear the pressure switch. So you locate the pressure switch on the plumbing. It'll look very much similar every time. This is the most standard option and it will usually or often be near a pressure gauge. So you can just unscrew it by hand. They're usually not very tight and you take it off. And then you'll see in here, there's uh, some little contact points and they'll get, ow, um, uh, So always shut off the power before you work on anything electrical, uh, even the pressure switch. So you have the little points in here and what'll happen is they get clogged up and all you got, ow, So you always want to make sure that you have shut off the right uh, breaker so you don't get shocked. So if you don't have an electrical meter to test it with, we can use this plastic lid. And all we'll do with the plastic lid is you want to flip, there we go, you hear it starting, and then you'll clear out the pressure switch. It's just some ants that will get in there. You can keep them out, ants, bugs, spiders, you name it. So that's all you do. Don't ever don't ever reach in there on a live circuit, always use something non-conductive.